And we welcome you to the Michigan International Speedway this afternoon, one of the most demanding courses for the Na- of the NASCAR IOP Cup Series and the beginning of one of the busiest stretches of the year. This is a place where you must demand a great your car must have a great setup. No rough, no water, and no sand whatsoever. You drive out of bounds here, there is no mulligan. The annual August stop in the Irish Hills promises fast and exciting racing. The beautiful backdrop around this two-mile super speedway makes this race even more exciting for American automakers as well. Will the Chevy bow ties step up? Will the blue ovals claim their Michigan crown? Or will Japan's Toyota spoil the party? If the June race here didn't tell you anything, we're in for quite the show today. Right now we are in a bit, right now there is a concern of lightning in the area. It has rained on and off basically all throughout this morning. The rain has stopped as of right now. But if we look to the radar, there's going to be some lightning with this upcoming storm that's about 30 minutes out. So initially we were supposed to go green at about 1.20 p.m. Eastern time. So we've pushed the start up to 1.10 p.m. Eastern which is just 10 minutes from now. Also, it's been another trend of wet weather at Michigan this year because qualifying was rained out yet again, again Friday afternoon, putting Sports Center Cup Series in the 11 on the pole. He is probably the furthest up from the cut line of the drivers without a win. I'm sure he would love to get a win today. Other things to note, Jonathan Morrison also is around the cut line. He is uh, 14th, about 34 points up up from the cut line. But we got to be watching this battle between 13th and 16th because each of these drivers are separated by about 10 points apiece. As of right now, if Jacob Tube, our current points leader, starts today, since he reclaimed it at Portland, but he reclaimed the points lead, he lost it. Indy at Richmond, and then even though he got wrecked, wrecked at Portland, he still reclaimed it because of how high the attrition was. So, now, if he, him, and Dylan Murway start this race today, they will lock their themselves into the playoffs starting at Loudoun in a few weeks. Anyways, while we're here, let's go ahead and line up the uh, good show off our starting lineup presented by FedEx. In row one, we have the FedEx Toyota and the Mountain Dew Chevrolet. Starting today from row two, we have the Furniture Row Toyota and the top, the Aris Internet Toyota. Row three, we have the Dow Chevrolet and the Jimmy John Chevrolet. Row four, we have the Blue Deuce Ford and the Caterpillar Chevrolet. Yellow. Not much, just uh, watching Family Guy Star Wars. I just picked one at random and picked the. Uh, it's a drop. Where they get? Where are they get to the test star? You know, we're in a galaxy far, far away, but we have a team in Atlanta. That one. Yeah, I was trying not to fall asleep this morning.
Sorry for that interruption there. Uh, row four, we have the DeWalt Toyota and the Lowe's Chevrolet. Row five, we have the Fastenal Ford and the Pennzoil Ford. Row six, we have the AdvoCare Ford and the Target Credit One Bank Chevrolet. Row seven, we have the Nature's Bakery Chevrolet and the Mountain Dew Chevrolet. Row eight, we have the Mobile One Chevrolet and the Dustless Blasting Toyota. Row number nine, we have the Motorcraft Ford and the Smithfield Foods Ford. Row number 10, We have the Hassan Nation Chevrolet and the Interstate Batteries Toyota. Row 11, we have the TaxSlayer.com Chevrolet and the McDonald's Mac Tonight Chevrolet. 
Row 12, we had the Jimmy John Chevrolet and the 5-Hour Energy Toyota. Row 13, we have the Hot Wheels Chevrolet and the 55 car. Row 14, we have the 16 car and the 56 car. Row 15, we have the BB&T car and the 9 car. And fine, I'm sorry, row 16. Starting today from row 17, we have the Richmond Water Heater Chevrolet and the 25 car. Me. Right now, the weather here, it's currently overcast. There may be a possibility of some showers later in the afternoon. Noon, that's why we are in the hurry up. I'd like to thank the 22 of Zox Moon for giving us the visor cam for today's race. And these four teams to be carrying our 360 bug eye cams. The four, the 11, the six, and the 88 will be carrying those this afternoon. Here we go. Pace car beginning to leave the racetrack. Sports Center Cup Series is going to lead them down in front of a Persevering crowd here at Michigan, but in over in overcast skies, and the green flag is out here on NBC on TNT. Oh, out of shape already is the four. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. End of the wall off turn two, and the caution comes out. Get low, get low, 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 low. We're killed, guys, we're killed. We got killed in this one. We're killed. Bad. Tough break for the four. He is locked in the chase. That one. What was the two doing? Lot freaking one. Stopping it out, please. Just stopping it out. Here. Looked like the two, from what I saw, Wally, was trying to go three wide. On the, between the three and the four, the two got in the three loose, and that's how the four finished. Three got to the four, and then he would have been fine, but then again, he did not want to spin the car into traffic. The car snapped as he tried to save it, and then he hit that wall pretty hard. Hard to steer, take this thing off the wall. Steering's killed. Tough break for Dylan Merways. He will be earning his first. Last place finish in an IHOP Cup Series competition of his career. Well, we get an early start for Chicago. Now, under caution, they're going to be bring. We just heard moments ago on NASCAR Race Control that they're going to be bringing the cars down because there is a severe thunderstorm warning. Not a watch, but a warning 
out here, out at Michigan till about 4.30 p.m. Eastern later today, local to the track. So they're going to bring the cars down. Because as you see, it is light on the racetrack, but behind in turn four does not look pretty. They're going to bring the cars down pit road. And cover them up and tell dri drivers and fans to take shelter. Now remember, this is a precaution that NASCAR always takes when there's that severe threat of lightning or rain. And, and the possibility of severe thunderstorms later in the afternoon. So NASCAR is doing the right thing by bringing the drivers down pit road. They're going to line them up and they're going to put them under the red flag until this uh, storm passes. Which is, if you look to the radar and you look to the skies, it's yeah, it's definitely going to be a while, but they can get the track to ride. They are already dispatching the Air Titans. Sports Center Cup Series is your early leader at the moment of, but at the moment of caution, they are currently saying the 78 is trying to get by the 24 coming to, to lap one. Now at this point, there is going to, they're going to take and put these guys under the red for quite a while, actually. Looks like. Tune in here for some updates. There will be some updates from the track and you can watch on our broadcast and broadcast here the pioneer audio 400 is going to be under a red flag you're watching nascar on tnt Back here at Michigan International Speedway, where uh, previously there was that severe lightning concern because there was some rain in the parking lot. Now that the whole, tr if you look down in three and four, it's pretty well pouring down here in the Irish Hills. They already got drivers stationed, all air titans stationed around this racetrack. They already got the extra safety cars out. See on the front stretch, the. New Corvette Z06 casing the line of dryers on the front stretch. Okay. Obviously, this pace car being driven by Detroit Lions defensive back Ndamukong Sue. And then the rain that was initially in turns three and four is pretty much covering the entire racetrack at this point. And remember, they, NASCAR does this to ensure the fan safety. They want these drivers to want the drivers to be safe. They want the fans to be safe. So they're telling everybody to take shelter because of this uh, lightning, and um, we'll expect the track to be. According to uh, social media, they are expecting this storm to pass. But it takes about an hour and a half to two hours to completely dry this racetrack. So we will be afterwards. We might we may be clear for the rest of the afternoon. But there is one more smaller shower that these drivers may have to deal with later today. That's your uh, Pepsi race Mountain Dew race update from Michigan International Speedway. You're watching the Pioneer Audio Four Hundred.
on NB on TNT. TNT Sports welcomes you back here to the Michigan International Speedway. And today's broadcast is brought to you by Pioneer Audio and by the new Chevrolet Cavalier, now with XM Satellite Radio and by Mountain Dew. It's not what you do, it's how you do. And this is how we do. There is a sweep. There was a competition put on earlier in the summer to vote for the best Mountain Dew Mountain Dew drink drink between Mountain Dew Baja Blast and Mountain Dew Pitch Black, and everybody seemed to t- 
to decide what what paint scheme of these cars will run at Bristol. They ran them both. They're going to run these them both today at Michigan. If as you uh, watch our three Mountain Dew drivers, Jacob Tube, obviously the highest of the three. He is running in second right now, and uh, Jacob Tube is I'm sorry. Hunter Miller is again. He is currently two points to the good coming into this race. He's running. 14th, and then obviously Apollo Moon is running 22nd. Now there, now it's been raining for a good two and a half hours right now. Um, the storm has the storm that was go, raining earlier has passed. Um, Pass, but now it's just cloudy and overcast, just like the start of the race. Um, cloudy and gloomy. There might just be that way. But once we these drivers get back going, what do you think will be the uh, major con major concern with uh, the track now being washed off green and having one caution so far? Um, it's going to be green. A lot of people are saying you're pointing to the Gibbs cars to be fast, but there's only three of them in the top 10, not counting the 78 and the 18s all the way back in 18th, ironically. So I'm sure he's probably been doing some pit strategy here on this caution. Um, it's going to be interesting to see once we uh, get this track completely dry and get this race back going again. The lightning rain has stopped, but the lightning threat will not expire until 3.15 p.m. Eastern local to the track. So uh, they've gotten, as you look under the back stretch, they've got a good majority of this track cleaned up, dry. It might just be the top of the racetrack that may need some attention. They've already got the dryers up in uh, turns three and four. Runs three and four as of right now. So we very well could be going green here, getting cars back out of the racetrack here very shortly. We are expecting a, as of right now, Michigan is expecting a three. We are expecting a three forty-five p.m. start time, time where three forty-five p.m. Eastern, where these drivers can go back under green. As you see, the covers are being taken off the cars, but driver and you see the drivers are being brought back. So check back at 3.45 p.m. Eastern for the resumption of the Pioneer Car Audio Systems 400 from Michigan International Speedway. You're watching NASCAR on TNT. Sports Center Cup Series is leading after two laps.